to set up virtual hard disk. Exercise three, managing virtual hard disk. So I'm gonna go well, a little bit quick about this one. Now, to create a virtual hard disk is as good as creating a virtual hard disk on VirtualBox, on VMware, or Hyper-V. It's almost the same thing. But this, in this case, Microsoft gave us a better way of creating our own virtual hard drive. And the, 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 the nice thing about it is that it's not compulsory that that hard drive file can be stored on the local drive. You can actually have a virtual hard drive on your computer, but it's stored in an external drive or even in a network hard drive. Are, you, are we together? So to begin, we go to the Start uh, menu. We right-click. Sorry. We right-click. And we go to Disk what? Management. So you can expand that. Now, are we in Disk Management? <clears throat> are you there? Now, what's the next step? The next step is to now move on to where? To where? Action. Do you see action here? Okay, can you go to action? Did you see we have so many options there? The first one says what? Refresh your what? It says what? Can you click on that? It's some kind of refresh the environment. Is that not correct? Now go back again to action. Did you see where it says rescan? Meaning if the disk were not properly, it's not probably showing you the right, uh, correct free space and all that. What does it do? It will rescan the disk. Did you see create your VHD? Now, Microsoft gave us an opportunity where we can create VHD directly on your physical computer. Are we together? On your physical computer. Did you notice the third one? The fourth one, sorry. It says what? Attach what? Meaning, if Jonas or Edivado or Jacinto or Namono has a VHD drive on his computer where he has copied files in there, and I need those files. All Namono needs to do is to detach that, uh, make a copy of that VHD and give it to me. Are we together? And I come to my computer system, I will not attach that VHD. But for the sake of our practicals, we'll use one computer to try to demonstrate it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is to go to what? Attach what? Sorry, create, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to go to the action, create what? Did you see exactly the thing we also spoke in the presentation? We have VHD and VHDX, is that not correct? What's the maximum for VHD? <clears throat> Two terabytes, is that not correct? And what's the maximum for VHDX? 64 watts? Exactly. Okay, let's take VHDX. Now, did you notice on the top layer it says location? Is that not correct? <coughs> so we need to specify, because it's a file we're creating. Are we together? Because a VHD you also create on virtual box is a file. So since it's a file, we need to what? Save it somewhere. Is that not correct? So before we can go further, I want you to take your mouse here and minimize the screen. This is hide on hide, hide on hide. Are we together? Okay, I want you to take your mouse to the desktop, right click, say new, folder, and type it VHDX Win 8.1. That's the name of your folder. VHDX Win 8.1. Have you done that? Okay, if you've done that, you leave it, uh, you put it here, which is fine. So let's go back. So we're going to click Browse. We're going to go to Desktop. We open the VHDX folder. Then we're going to give it a name. So I want us to give it HDD1. That's the name. Did you see the file type there? VHDX, you see it there? Do you see it there? Now we can actually come to the drop down list uh, from the drop down uh, selection and actually change the format as well. Are we together? We can change it to VHD or what? VHDX. So let's leave it at the default, which is VHDX. We'll click save. Now that's the file. So we're going to give it, um, we're going to give it uh, 20 me uh, 200 megabytes. That's the name, that's the size. We're going to accept. Remember, we have fixed and dynamic volume, right? But in this case, in the lab, we're going to try to use dynamic expanding. Are we together? 
Now, according to Microsoft, it's actually recommended. Why? Because it will only store things that are written to the drive. Are you getting me? Instead of making the space available. So I'm going to select dynamic expanding. And I'm going to say what? Okay. And that is it. Do you have a disk on your computer? It's called disk five. Is that correct? It looks like a physical what? Attach disk. All together. Okay. But it's offline, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to initialize the disk. So we're going to come in here, right click, and say what? Initialize what? <coughs> disk. Of course, we're going to accept the... You see, the same format you have on your physical hard drive. It's the same format is also giving you on the virtual hard drive. So we're going to accept the default. We're going to click OK to initialize it on master boot record. And bingo, guys, we have our disk what? Five. Do you see unallocated space there? Yes, OK, guys. And we say dynamic expanding. Is that not correct? So let's, I'm going to use, um, so I, I need us to create a partition, okay? I want us to create a partition on the disk. Are we together? Okay, follow my step. Follow the step I'm going to follow now. So the next thing we're going to do now is to create a partition on the disk. Okay, let me just a minute, let me pause this. Okay, now we're going to use the PowerShell to try to create a VHD and attach it here. Are we together? Okay, so let's go to the PowerShell. Go to search, type PowerShell, run as administrator. So we're going to, we're going to try to create um, another drive. Are, are we together? So what I want you to type is type disk parts, type disk parts, and press enter. Type disk parts and press enter. Then type create v disk file. Create v disk space file equals then bracket open. Then I uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, I made a mistake. Okay. Then you put the hyphen, double hyphen. Now, if you come to my computer, I have a drive here called drive D. Are we together? I don't know if you have a partition there. Remember, I asked you guys to set up a partition, right? So I'm going to use my partition D instead of I that is on the in the book. Are we together? So I'm going to use partition D. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to type D. I'm going to type D, double colon, backward slash. Then I'm going to type V. I'm going to type V R H D D two. H D D two dot V H D X. That's the name. Then I'm going to put the hyphen together. Space maximum. Maximum equals to one zero four eight space type equals expandable. Expandable. I will stop here and I'll probably continue from here tomorrow. Expandable. Then I'll press enter. Now, we've just created a virtual disk file. Let's confirm it. I'm going to go to my drive C now. I'm going to open my drive D. 
Do you see the VHD22? Do you see that? So now, if we go to the disk management, we currently have HDD1 here. Is that not correct? So what I want to do, I'm going to attach HDD2 to this drive. So I'm going to click on Action, Attach, Browse, go to this PC, drive D, VHD22, sorry, VHD2, click OK. I have my what? I have my disk what? Six. I can right click and I'll say initialize. Accept default. And that is it, guys. We have two drives that are connected on the computer system. Are we together? Now, because of time, I'm going to stop here and I'll proceed from here. The next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to create a partition because we only have unallocated space. Is that not correct? So the next step now is to set up a partition. So what I'm going to do now, the next thing I'm going to do is to set up a partition and we're going to create a volume. Are we together? And I'm going to, I'm going to do that with, um, I'm going to create a volume with, um, I'm going to create a volume with, uh, with the, the PowerShell as well. So I'll use the PowerShell to create a volume and you see how it works. Then we'll be able to detach and attach again. So that what we've just done today is to create a VHD using the GUI interface. Dix, uh, Dix uh, management creates another VHD using the PowerShell, attaching the VHD as well. Are we together? Of course, the next thing is to create a volume, which I believe everybody knows how to do, right? So, guys, I'm going to stop here because of time. Because.